Well, now we take a look at some of the new uh, COVID-19 uh, guidelines that have been put in place effective some of them effective tonight well a uh, ban on uh, political gatherings as well as uh, worship uh, uh, gatherings as well that is in nairobi county kajado county machakos county kiambu county and nakuru county well uh, until further notice now the other one is extension of a nationwide curfew uh, for 60 days now well for that uh, the curfew will take effect uh, in nairobi kajado machakos kiambu and nakuru the curfew will be taking effect from 8 p.m to 4 a.m while in the rest of the 42 counties it will take place from 10 p.m to 4 a.m uh, moving on, uh, the extension of the directive for bars and restaurants well to be closed effectively. Now, the, the bars have been suspended from operating in Nairobi, Nakuru, Machakos, Kiambu, and Kajado. Restaurants and eateries in the said counties shall provide takeaway services only and are banned from selling alcohol. Now, moving on. Now, moving on at the same time, uh, international travels are set to continue while all traveling to the country are required to have a negative COVID-19 PCR certificate while the certificate should not have been acquired more than four days before arrival and uh, learning institutions as well the the physical learning in schools has been suspended with the exception of candidates sitting for examinations and medical training institutions in exempted as well for the all all in-person cabinet meetings have been suspended and its committee meetings have also been suspended with the exception of the National Security Council, both houses of parliament, that is with concurrence of the parliamentary leadership of both houses of parliament and with the ordinary session and, excuse me, and with the concurrence of the county leadership as well, ordinary sessions of the two houses of parliament as well as the ordinary sessions of the county assemblies uh, will, uh, it will then, that happen, that will only happen if the, on, that comes on Tuesday when the two houses meet and a special motion is moved to have the houses suspend uh, the houses suspended sittings in concurrence with standing orders. Now, moving on, President Uru Kenyatta and First Lady Margaret Kenyatta led other senior government officials in taking the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine at State House Nairobi as they sought to reassure the public of the vaccine safety. This comes hours after State House Chief of Staff Nzio Kawaita announced a directive that the entire cabinet and executive office was to lead by example and get vaccinated. Though the Kenyan government has secured the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, there has been concerns that the uptake of the vaccine for the target population across the country is very low. Kenyans have expressed skepticism over the vaccine following reports of safety that have fueled a confidence crisis on the vaccine among Kenyans. Today at State House, however, the President, the First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, held CS Mutahi Kagwe, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, flanked by other senior government officials, seemingly leading the vaccination campaign and seeking to allay any fears by Kenyans. The development coming hours after State State House Chief of Staff Nzio Kawaita announced that the entire cabinet and executive office was to lead by example and get vaccinated. The vaccination exercise at State House was televised live to the nation. Before the vaccination exercise, President Kenyatta had announced a raft of containment measures owing to the rising cases of COVID-19 in the country due to the third wave. Nairobi, Kiambu, Machakos, Kajado and Nakuru have been placed under a lockdown for unspecified period. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel 1 News.